uh, this is a model of uh, a Lee's Lift funicular railway. The original is in Folkestone in Kent. There's another similar hydraulically operated funicular railway at Linton and Lynmouth in Devon. In my model I've used steel balls instead of water. The model would be much too big if the runway were anything like the right length. I would imagine that it's probably only one-tenth of how long it should be in real life. But this serves to show the principle of the working. It's extremely simple. The balls are lifted to the top of the lift by this chain of buckets. There is a gate that drops one ball into each bucket. At the top, this is difficult to see, but the balls come out of the bucket as it goes round the top sprocket wheel and lands on the ramp, which is the grey part there. If I move the car out of the way, I can show the ramp tilting, depending on which car is at the top of the ramp. At the bottom, the balls come out of the tank when this rotary valve, well, let some balls out, opens like that. And just a small quantity of balls comes out each time so that we don't get a huge rush of balls all coming out at once and would probably spill. Just one single 12 volt motor operates the whole machine. Very simple. There is an intermittent drive, which I'm afraid is difficult to see, consisting of these three multi-purpose gear wheels with the middle one having half its teeth taken off so that each of the side wheels rotates half a turn for each revolution of the middle wheel. This gives an intermittent drive, one half of which advances the buckets one at a time to the right position, and the other half of the drive operates the gate which lets one ball into each bucket. This same drive turns this bush wheel here which opens the gate on the car to let the balls out and this happens about half a dozen times so that the balls come out gradually. The speed of the descent of the cars is controlled as much as possible by this uh, air brake here which is driven at high speed by the large gear and the very small pinion. That's the biggest gear and the smallest pinion in the Meccano range, probably giving a 10 to 1 ratio. It isn't really enough, uh, the cars descend too quickly but if they were slowed down any more, they might not descend at all. And also the ramp, of course, is much too short. It should be ten times longer than this to get the right scale. Okay, let's start the machine. We'll start the motor. And that will start lifting the balls to the top of the lift and into the red car here. The motor is started with this lever.
Occasionally we will drop the ball, but the leaves lift. Spilt plenty of water, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, the balls are coming out of the bucket at the top. They're landing on the grey ramp which directs them down here and into the car. I'm not sure how many balls there are. I think it's something between 50 and 100. That's hopefully the right weight to get the car to go down the ramp at a good speed. It is too fast. I can't get it to be any slower and be reliable. Okay, that's the last of the balls lifted into the car. So we turn off the motor as the operator would do in the original. And then release the brake, which would start the descent of the car. We then start the motor again. This initially lets the balls out of the car. And the balls travel down the ramp. They are helped if necessary by our little pusher, nudger here. And this time they are going into the blue car in the same way, of course, once the blue car is filled with balls. We'll stop the motor and release the brake and the blue car will go to the bottom of the lift and the balls will be discharged. So that's the last ball, stop the motor, release the brake, you saw that it went down rather too fast, passengers would not be happy. But you can't have everything. We'll start the motor again. Balls are released from the blue car. Rather quickly that time. And they're in the ramp, ready to begin the cycle again.
Okay, there we go. Thank you for watching.